Louis Naphtali, Papyrus and Ancient Writing, The First Hundred Years of Papyrology, Archaeology, Volume 36, Number 4, July 1983, pages 31 through 37. In the citation shown, which of the following is cited? Okay, this is a research skills question. There's only four of these on each writing test. So we're going to have to decide what kind of citation this is referring to. Is it A, an interview, B, a book, C, a magazine article, D, a newspaper article, or E, a blog? And you wouldn't necessarily have to know or have memorized the citation styles for each of these things. We can just play detective and figure it out this way. So process of elimination, I think we can knock out an interview because an interview doesn't have page numbers, right? And I think in that regard, we can knock out everything that doesn't have page numbers. A blog doesn't have page numbers. And we also know that there's no website listed here. If this were an internet-only resource, you would list a website. So we know it's not an interview or a blog. Now we're down to these three things that have page numbers. Is it a book, a magazine article, or a newspaper article? Well, so what we've got here is a title, Papyrus and Ancient Writing, The First Hundred Years of Papyrology, within an italicized larger work, which to me suggests that it's not a book. Also suggesting to me that it's not a book is volume 36, number 4. Now, certainly books can have volumes, but would they have numbered entries within those volumes? My instinct is no. Now, it could be the case that this is the title of a paper within an anthology book, Papyrus and Ancient Writings, The First Hundred Years of Papyrology. That could either be uh, an essay or, in my view, it's more likely an article. But the fact that we have the month July here, the, the month to me indicates that whatever kind of publication it is, it's not published on the same cadence as a book. You might have two books published within a year, but then the volume number would be the thing that changed. The next book to come out would be volume 37. You wouldn't have to have all this other stuff after it, so I'm going to knock out book. So now we're between magazine article and newspaper article, and I think it's a magazine, and I'll tell you why. It's because of July. I'm playing detective here, right? A magazine is much more likely than a newspaper to be published on a monthly rather than a daily or weekly cadence. If this were a newspaper article, it would say the specific date of publication. Where's the date? It might say July 14th, 1983. So how I read this citation shows me that this is the 36th year of publication. This is issue number four, and this issue was published in July 1983. So I'm going to say, yes, magazine, no, newspaper. And just like that, we've played detective and we've figured it out. The, the key to understanding questions like these about citations is to look for the kind of information that's being displayed. Are there page numbers? Are there volume numbers? Look for the date and see how often it seems like this thing is published. Is there a website? What's the information that allows you to categorize this citation? So even though I don't have my style book open in front of me, I was still able to deduce from the information that we could glean from this citation what sort of publication we were talking about.